Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we will be solving complex power problems. And if you have not seen my this video, I will strongly recommend that you watch this so you have uh, a clear concept about complex power. Anyway, these are the four formulas that are used for calculating complex power. And so we will be using one or two of these. Okay, this is the first question or first example 11.11. Uh, voltage across a load Vt is given by this. So this is the voltage Vt. And the current through the element is given by this value. So this is the current. We have to find the complex and apparent power, real and reactive power, power factor and load impedance. Okay, so first of all, the complex and apparent power, this is the values given and we have to use or we can use any of the formulas from here. Now this value is in peak, V maximum, uh, I maximum, V maximum. So first of all we have to convert this into RMS value and as you know that to, to convert a peak into RMS we have to divide by under root 2. So we are dividing by under root 2 and then we are also writing the angle along with it. So 60 divided by under root 2 and its angle minus 10. And for current 1.5 divided by under root 2 and its angle plus 50. Okay, now we can solve by uh, using uh, two of the formulas. First we will try this one, angle magnitude form. So angle magnitude form, we straight away write the magnitude multiply by current magnitude and angle theta V which is minus 10 minus theta I which is plus 50. So this is the complex power 45 angle minus 60. We could also have solved by using this formula which is mostly liked by the engineers VRMS IRMS conjugate. So VRMS IRMS conjugate total this is VRMS we have written this is IRMS we have written. We have only changed the angle of IRMS uh, for the conjugate part. So it is plus 50. In case of a conjugate, it will be minus 50. Simply solve and you get this answer. Multiply these two and add these two angles. So this is the same answer for complex power in terms of a volt ampere. And now Apparent power, as we have already discussed uh, uh, in the uh, in, uh, previous video, the apparent power is complex power, remove the uniform, that is remove the angle. So whatever left is the apparent power. So without angle, the apparent power is magnitude of this. So this is apparent power denoted by uh, non-bold S, which is the magnitude of bold S, which is the complex power, and that is equal to 45 VA, only the magnitude. Okay. The next is the real and reactive power. It can be written as P plus JQ, where P is the real part and Q is the reactive part. From this diagram also you can see the real part is P and the uh, imaginary part is the reactive power and the summation of the two is the complex power and without uh, only the magnitude of the complex power is apparent power. So anyway, uh, what we have S, this was the S that we calculated and we can redraw if you want. Since angle is 90 degrees, so this will be invert of this. So this is the complex power. We will simply use our calculator to calculate this. So using calculator convert from polar to rectangular. So if you convert then we will get 22.5 minus J38.97. So this is the real part and this is the reactive power. You can also solve it uh, by the sine cosine method. Now, if you recall, the real axis is the cosine axis and the imaginary axis is the 
sine axis of the magnitude. So this can be written as 45 cosine 60 plus j 45 sine 60 and the answer will be exactly the same. So we can write that the real power is 22.5 and its unit is watt and the reactive power is minus 38.97 and its unit is VAR volt ampere reactive. Now part C is the power factor, we all know power factor is cos of theta, so power factor is 0 0.5. The question is, is it leading or lagging? So for that, uh, we will follow a simple technique to remember. First of all, this angle minus theta minus 60 is actually theta V minus theta I. So we write theta V minus theta I is equal to minus 60. And from here you can, I am sure, conclude that theta i has to be greater for this to be minus. For example, if this value was 2 and this value is 3, we will get an answer of minus 1. So that means this is greater. So we can write that theta i is greater than theta v. Now we will follow a simple, simple rule that the power factor follows the current. What does that mean? current power factor power factor follows the current so if the current is leading the power factor will be leading we can also uh, uh, follow or memorize this when i leads v then pf leads a uh, pf will be leading or we can also follow this triangle diagram when the power fact angle is positive then the power factor is lagging. When the angle is negative, then the power factor is leading. Now in our case, the angle is negative, that means the power factor will be leading and it is a capacitive case. So we will write that the power factor is leading. Okay, And then we come to the uh, load impedance part of the question. Load impedance is V phasor over I phasor. So we write our values in terms of a phasor. Now this is the given value uh, in sinusoidal form. We convert it into phasor, magnitude and angle plus 50. Here also magnitude and angle minus 10. So putting in these two values here. This is voltage current solving. The impedance is 40 minus angle J60. You have to write uh, whether this is inductive uh, impedance or capacitive impedance. Now look at this diagram when the angle is minus, it is a capacitive impedance. So it is capacitive impedance. So this was a question number one. Uh, now the practice problem 11.1. .1. Here it is simpler. The voltage and currents are already in RMS forms. So we straight away uh, plug in the values. So this is the current and this is voltage. Formulas. Since these are given in RMS form, so it is easier to use this. So we use that formula, plugging in the values of voltage and current conjugate minus sign. So this is S or the complex power and apparent power is without uniform, that is without the angle, so apparent power is 44 VA. Real and reactive power, P plus JQ, real part, reactive part. Our value we have calculated is 44, angle 70. Use your calculator to convert into a rectangular form. So converting rectangular form 15.5 plus J41.35. So this is the real power and this is the reactive power. So real power 15.5 watt, reactive 41.36 VR. Since our angle is positive, now the diagram will look like this. Okay, power factor. 
same technique will follow cos of the angle 0 0.345 is it leading or lagging theta v minus theta i is 70 that means theta v is greater than theta i that means current is lagging uh, if the current is lagging we have just seen in the previous questions and the current is lagging power factor is also lagging i lags then power factor lags. From here also you can see the angle is positive that means we are here and that means it is lagging it is inductive load. Okay so we wrote down power factor lagging. Then we come to the load impedance Z is V over I putting in the value of V and I in RMS forms so the value is 275 angle 70 and again we come back here angle positive sign therefore this is inductive load so inductive impedance so i hope uh, you have been able to follow this and you should be able to solve such type of a question thank you